Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be going over the Chameleon Launcher. It actually got released today, so it's still in beta but as you can see from this it looks super super cool. Now I actually kicked in $9.99 for this so I got early access to the beta. So looking at this you can see here you can add on these widgets and you can actually move them around by dragging here and you can see there's like a grid format. Uh, so far since I've been using this it's been very 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 smooth considering this is just a beta or beta considering where you are in the world so so far you can see here you can actually move up and down so this is just a RSS feed that's very minimal when it comes to uh, widgets at the moment is still in beta obviously that's my Twitter feed there obviously you've got these the weather here in the top right which actually stretches all the way down and you can actually put this into landscape mode as well and get additional things now this is what I love about it I think that looks so so good you can actually switch between different home screens very cool way of doing it so we can actually add more of these home screens by clicking on the plus symbol as you can see there it just pops straight in super smooth and we can also get rid of it by pressing on the X in the top right click on delete and that thing is gone so looking at this you can also go to this edit context thing I'm not entirely sure what this is all about I've added a couple of things in here uh, but I need to, like I said, there's only three things in here to start with. Like I said, it is still in beta, so there's going to be sort of minimal features to start with. So if we just tap on this page here, we can see the first thing it tells you is press and hold to add widgets. So I'm going to do that. Hold down, you get that nice little animation. We can do two things here. We can do widgets and we can also add wallpapers now again as it says here custom wallpapers are coming um, and again you've got a few stock ones on here that we can add they're not the most attractive ones but obviously it's something there that we can use so I'm going to change that because that looks absolutely horrible add one a bit more vibrant and that will do the job uh, so again if we hold down on the screen and we'll actually go into the widgets and you can see what is actually available now as it says here uh, more widgets are coming uh, tap a widget to add so here I'm going to add the probably the Instagram I don't use Instagram but I'll add it anyway uh, and it comes onto the home screen I and mean, again you can just move it to your heart's content wherever you want it to be you can have a full screen if you really wanted to I can see this this actual launcher being really good on a bigger size tablet with more screen real estate as the Nexus 7 is only a 7 inch tablet it is a little bit too small uh, it would benefit from having a larger screen with this launcher in particular so if we just click on the tick in the top right hand corner that will close that down and what I love about this is the smooth animation from one home screen to the other I think this looks very very good uh, if we click on the six squares in the bottom right that shows us all of our applications so if we just come out of here by tacking on the six squares again we can launch Chrome from the bottom here and we can add more icons down onto there I'm just going to come out of here because I don't want to browse for anything on the internet. So overall, I'm loving this new launch app for my Nexus 7. Uh, I've only been using it a few hours and you can just see how smooth and how elegant and refined it is. And I can see here, I'm going to tap on the plus button to see how many uh, home screens I can create. And in a second, it just you can see all of those new screens I've created. And just by cycling through, no lag, no stuttering, straight through. So I just thought I'd show you this video. It is available in the Play Store, but I think you do have to have paid uh, some money into the kit. Kickstarter to get access to the early beta because they tie it up with the email address you use on Kickstarter and your email address on the Play Store. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. You can also follow me on Twitter at Matt Saunders MCP, and I will catch you all in the next one.